Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. It is a good day to be alive and to be thankful. Now, I'll be featuring today a pothos plant. I have beside me here a pothos, but the one I'm featuring today is the manjula. This is the manjula pothos plant. And this plant is um, it's becoming a little bit more popular. It was considered rare at, at one point, but I've always said rare is relative to location, right? So if you notice the leaves on the manjula, I'm just bringing it up a little bit closer, almost like a stained marble effect. So if you look at the leaves, I can compare them and you can see the difference in terms of the variegation. In terms of propagating the uh, mandula plant, uh, it's the same as your typical pothos plant. You look for the node, cut right below the node, just below the node of the plant, right? So there's a node right here and right, let me bring it a little bit closer, that's a node. So you would cut below the node, put that in water or perlite, sphagnum moss, and once it roots and the root is roughly an inch, inch and a half to two inches, then you can plant it up. Now this one, um, I had it trailing, but I prefer to have my plants climbing because I really have limited space to hang plants. So I prefer to have them climb. So this one I repotted and I'm gonna show you a clip of how I repotted this one. And so I put it on this Hole. and once it gets to the top then I am going to cut and repot so I can fill the entire pot because if you notice I just have two plants in this spot so you're seeing um, a lot of the pole so my intention is to um, make sure that it covers the entire pole so as soon as it gets to the top um, of this I am going to cut and propagate and then put back in the pot so I get a full full pot to climb. Soil mix for the manjula is pretty much the same as all my pothos plants. Um, I have in mixed in some orchid mix, perlite, um, some charcoal and I have regular potting soil in the mix. Now the manjula plant really doesn't like to be in soggy soil it can get root rot very very easily so you ensure that the soil is pretty fast draining and that it dries out one important tip with the mandula is to make sure that it dries out between watering it has to dry out because um, it loves that right so don't worry about it then it's not going to die in you and it's best for you to have it underwater than overwatered. it can definitely recover from underwatering but once you overwater it then your plant is pretty much gone so just be careful with the watering lighting for the mandula you make sure you give it bright light indirect light and i think that helps with the variegation to keep it um, pretty balanced so this one I have sitting near the window and it gets some bright light coming in and so it's doing pretty well. This is the newest leaf that is unfurling from this mandula plant and it's just absolutely beautiful. Now what I find with the mandula plant is that the, the leaves, you will get this marble stained look but as the leaf gets older then I find that more of the white variegation gets spotted with green so these are the older leaves you can notice that and compare that to the newer leaves but still pretty beautiful now the mandula is somewhat of a slow <laughs> grower very slow if you are trying to propagate this one you will find that it takes a little bit longer um, to grow than your typical pothos plant So this is a quick repot that I did. I repotted just to simply put it on the totem pole. Um, so I didn't need to change the soil from the forage pot.
I used some hair pins to attach the plant to the pole. Eventually the aerial roots will grow into the pole itself. My intention is to cut and prop this mandula and put it back in the pot so I can eventually get a full plant going up the pole. And there you have it, and now a few care tips. Allow your mandula to dry out between waterings. Give it bright indirect light and make sure you have a chunky soil mix. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Do like this video, subscribe to my channel. I absolutely appreciate the support. Comment below and just let me know how you take care of your pothos plants or what other variety of pothos plants you have in your collection. So have a good rest of your day. Be kind to each other. Take care of yourself. You are number one. You are number one. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye. I have to remember to turn my phone off. That ping right at the end of my video. <laughs>